welcome to channel 48 my name is book thank you for tuning in again uh, to all the new subscribers I say welcome to channel 48 um, I hope you are feeling at home already uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment and uh, of course uh, leave a like for the video because this is about my old tablets that I'm updating again because I've been thinking about the previous runs that I made for these devices and I always wanted them to to have a functionality okay uh, so you could do this and that with it you know listen to the radio watch TV and so but now uh, I wanted to build or at least modify a ROM in a way that it would be even lighter look great and work good <laughs> show you what we're gonna get this is the t310 i changed the samsung boot screen for this one because it goes better with the concept that i made for this tablet so this became a google tablet even though it's samsung okay this is uh, how it boots this is a real-time boot after you installed the system already And there we are, uh, a lovely, great looking uh, tablet. And it, com it comes with what I call one face UI. And what is one face UI? One face UI means that you only have one face, one desktop. You see that? So everything is visible in one go. Of course, you can as well go into horizontal mode and then yeah maybe it will be even nicer for you okay uh, of course this comes without ads and things like that and uh, yeah you have your beautiful store built in um, where is it here you see that the store is built in so you can go ahead and get your applications after you connect it to the Wi-Fi, the camera, everything works. But that is of course with thanks to Greeno. Don't you worry. I don't know how to put it on selfie. Don't you worry. Oh here. Yeah. About the thing. Cause everything's gonna be alright. It's not the best cam in the world, but hey, it works. You know, it works. Um, yeah, no complaints about that. You see that? And uh, I love the the look and feel. So you don't see no rooms that come like this. So that's why um, this, this beautiful uh, launcher will stay in the family and is now officially adapted as one face ui okay so this is one face ui yeah that's it this is how it looks and no 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 fanciness just uh the system oh yeah um let me show you the ram for the p7500 this is for the P4. As well, the same thing. You see that? One face UI. And uh, this is, in fact, my build. Comes as well with uh, some extra. I installed uh, this to see if my, uh, if my TV was working. And it works. It works good. So yeah, I'm very happy about it, you know. As well, YouTube, you can watch via the browser. Two-step verification accounts only, eh, guys. 
remember what I always tell you two step verification in the nation so now we're gonna take a look at a quick install on this tablet and that is the P5110 and uh, yeah we're just gonna install it and I'm gonna show you how to set it up okay and this will be the same for all the other devices okay all the other devices must be set it up kind of the same way after you reach the desktop so let's take a look hey peeps welcome back so what you're looking at is a espresso wi-fi that at this moment is running my uh sort of pixel room that i made for it a while ago um but today i'm gonna show you my new room for this device we're going into a recovery I added that option by going into developers options and then turn it on. It's the first step. If you enter into a developer mode, developers options, if you enable it. Okay, and there we have team win recovery project. I'm going to back off a bit like this. Okay. Good. So um, let me see something. This was Lineage OS Blue. Okay, now I remember. All right. So uh, what I'm gonna do is a little advanced wipe down fix, system cache and data, and I'm gonna flash a room after wiping this. But before I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hit the home button, reboot, and then back into recovery. So we don't have to press any button. Fully automated. And then I'm gonna wait for it to pop up in my computer environment. You hear that? Dun. What would you like to do? Open device and show storage. And now I'm gonna copy a RAM to it that I just finished. Okay, let's go. And let's install the RAM. There you can see it. G-Droid. G-Droid XL. Jawohl, XL. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna let it install, peeps. This is a very nice ROM. It's based on official uh, yeah, lineage OS from the past, you know, Cyanogen and what? Uh, 13, that is uh, what this is, the engine. It's, uh, yeah, it's a deprecated, but still good working engine. And it's based on official, you know, so uh, I like that. And uh, it works good. So that is as well, you know, a goal and uh yeah with 2022 applications on it that work great thanks to you know it being android 601 we have a nice base to make all sorts of models onto at least that's the way how i see it for my tablets and they are getting better and this is the beautiful uh, boot animation with thanks to Rodriguez, Jawohl, Rodriguez XTA. Yes, a complete uh, Google Drive full with boot animations, all sorts. And uh, I'm happy to use this one. I like it a whole lot. I think you will like it as well. It looks just beautiful. Yeah, I like it. It's as if, yeah, it spins like... A disco light you know and then boom we arrived and then the applications will be set at top and i'm gonna let this go i showed you how fast it boots up so yeah this is not uh yeah something that is taking very very long so i'm gonna let this uh, set up itself and i see you back 
in the desktop. So that PM should should become a sort of Google. Uh, so uh, this is it. This is it. This is a one face UI, and a one face UI is so very simple that you all have it in one face. Yeah, you're looking at Mars on the background. Uh, thumbs up to E Foundation for that beautiful uh, wallpaper. Yeah, the standard uh, wallpaper of this room of all the rooms comes with the E Foundation. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, picture that can be found in uh, in their rooms as well. Check out E Foundation if you have a supported device. Um, so about this room. Well, uh, the first thing that you want to do is hit the three little dots here on top and then you hit settings. Okay, and then you hit icon pack and set it to Google icons. That might change, by the way, if the concept as well changes in the in the future, but I don't think so. I think this is it. This is a beautiful launcher. You know, swiping. Yeah. So that's what the swiping habit is not available in here yeah here you don't have to swipe anything you just look and you see what you want to do um it's uh nice in uh a horizontal uh, mode so you can you know see all the applications in full screen so what uh, what do we have on board well um we do have the aurora store because that is mandatory um and I'm going to show you why that is. Okay. So what I'm first going to do. Uh, I'm first going to bring you here to the settings part. And if you like the white. You know. God bless you and have a nice day. But you can as well click on themes. And uh, by clicking on themes. The screen will turn. And here you can see a second theme. Hit the three little dots. And hit customize. Go all the way down. Hit the me and select of course google yeah the beautiful google boot animation uh up here you select none that is the lock screen wallpaper and the wallpaper of course we use the beautiful wallpaper uh provided by e foundation uh well not really provided but it's in their package and if you build the ROMs, then you have access to these, to these things, you know. And I'm a big fan from e Foundation as well. So, yeah, they deserve to as well be uh, mentioned. Okay, because no man is an island and no man stands alone. And now you have a beautiful kind of uh, pixel uh, style um, settings part uh, where you can, you know, easily go through your desktop will stay the same okay because this launcher will uh not be uh how you say that uh changed by that theme um so that is one of course we now want to connect to the internet all right this room is available for the t310 um for the uh Espresso Wi-Fi, the P7500, including the 7510, I'm going to do as well. Okay, we are connecting to the internet, we are connected. Now hit the home, hit the little square, and whatever you're not using, close it, okay? Free up memory. Remember that, try to free up memory that, 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 that you don't use. Um, Alright, so now. We're gonna go, as I said, to the Aurora store. Just wait a little bit. And select, I have read and I agreed. Yeah, so what is the Aurora store? The Aurora store is a sort of uh, Play Store. You can find everything that, well, almost everything that you can find in the Play Store, you can as well find in here, you know, um, and even more. So that is kind of cool because we as well have an open source uh, section in here. So here we can go to next and we hit dark X and then we hit next. I'm gonna give it the special green and then finish. 
So here you're gonna see three possibilities to uh, use the store. Don't use the store with your Google account, okay? If you want to do these kinds of things, buy a new tablet, all right? So use it as anonymous. So you have a guest entrance to the store so you can get your apps updated, etc. All right? So here you see a little tab called update. You can tap it and then you're gonna see that the launcher can be updated, the wallpaper pack can be updated, uh, the Google Play surface that you see here is not the Google Play surface, this here, this is Micro G. So you must not hit update all, you must hit update, update, and then once again update, one by one. Don't update that Google Play surface because it's not Google Play Surface, it's a spoofed Google Play Surface, so certain applications can work. So now the next thing to do is very important, that is to install a uh, web view. And if you're gonna look for web view, then it will find the version that you need. And that is this one. And it will be a download of uh 60 56 megabytes something like that if i can see it good 52 62 52 uh let this one install and depending on how good you want your browser to be uh, i'm talking about the built-in via browser uh, the jelly browser i i removed it it was too old you know so i thought no i'm not gonna put you up with that old uh browser so that one is removed it's replaced with via but via is a very small browser and it does not have uh, everything in it that 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 you as a browser user need in 2022 but first we need to finish this uh, procedure here this might take a little okay the rest of the applications are updated it's installing at this moment. It doesn't matter if you go home, it will still install on the background. You see one face UI is, is, is beautiful as well with planet Mars on the background. It gives a nice effect there. Uh, to add the icon to the dock, you long press and then add to dock. You see that? And then it's been added to the dock. The camera, of course, you want to put it as the last. You can go up to here up to where you see the roundings of the of the of the earth or at least of mars of the earth it's not the earth um at the dock yeah certain icons that you would love to see in the dock you just add in the dock if this is enough for you then just leave it like this put your camera is the last one okay that looks looks good and now um yeah you have a beautiful system well that's about it uh, after updating webview uh, the via browser will be more powerful and will even work better with streaming sites that first would not play and show only snow um, yeah these are actually now all playing so i'm very happy to see that um, we don't need no extra apps or whatsoever uh, the only extra app is audios is great radio player world radio player comes without ads it's just my number one radio player and i want to see it in all my rooms so yeah that's why it's there um, so yeah all in all um, yeah a nice room to play with uh, this weekend peeps uh, i'm gonna leave the testing up to you um, I say back to the studio. So I want to thank you for watching, peeps. Uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Stay well. Have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, you'll be seeing me in the next video again. Ciao, ciao.